How's that portless challenge going, huh? Is it good? I hope you're enjoying it because I'm loving it. A couple people were asking about this, so I thought I would take some time just to tell you how my portless challenge is going with seeing all of the wireless charging capabilities and technologies I've been using. Not using wired headphones and not using cables to transfer files to my Mac and other devices has been just incredibly easy already because I have AirPods, which I still love and are still working just fine. And AirDrop still works better than ever. I'm still able to AirDrop 4K at 60 files to my MacBook from opposite ends of the room. And if you've seen videos, people have actually done AirDrop from Air airplane to airplane. You should check that out. It's actually really interesting that it can work that high up in the air. You know, there's no cell towers, there's no Wi-Fi, but they can still send airdrop files to each other. That's how cool it is. Very long range, and I believe that is the future, and airdrop's only going to be getting better. I'm wondering if Bluetooth 5.0 in the iPhone 8 helps with that. It must in some way, shape, or form. But of course, delivering power is not that easy, and that's the big thing that is different with the iPhone 8, is we are now able to charge our devices no longer using ports or cables that connect directly to the device. You do use Use a cable and port to connect your wireless charging device, but typically you plug it in once, you put it in one place, and then you're done with it for good. Now, wherever you go, you can just drop your phone in places, but there are a few occasions where it gets a little bit tricky to do the portless challenge. For instance, a lot of people brought up the car. Usually when you're in your car, you're kind of bumping around a lot. And it's not really a place that has like a desk or a nightstand where you can just kind of plug in a wireless charger and let it sit there. But There's also instances in which you're on a road trip or if you're traveling a lot, if you're at an airport. You have a couple wireless chargers, right? You have some on your desk and some on your nightstand, but do they come with you? Probably not, because then that defeats the point of it being mobile. Well, first of all, why don't I share with people how simple and cheap wireless chargers are? Because Apple really doesn't want you to. You go to Apple Store and they share wireless chargers that are around $60 each. Yikes. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they advertise those, especially when there's perfectly good ones on Amazon that you can buy today that work just fine. So the first one I have to advertise cost me $12. Made by a company called Koei Tech, and they are not sponsoring this video. They did not send this to me. I legit bought them and it's very very affordable. It does use micro USB, which is an old way of doing things Google reminds us of that with the Google Home Mini which uses micro USB But the great thing about these charger pads is that all of these micro USB cables I have lying around that I don't really need anymore finally have a purpose now I can buy this cheap little pad plug it into the micro USB cable and now it charges my iPhone in that part of the office or house Very very simple and the amazing thing about this one is it works It's not a fast wireless charger, but it works on Samsung Galaxy phones and it works on the iPhone 8 sadly it does does not work with the Apple Watch Series 3. There was an article going around that the Series 3 works with some Qi wireless chargers, but sadly, of the three I'm showing you today, none of them charge the Series 3 Apple Watch, and that wasn't kind of a flagship feature about the Series 3. Air power definitely will charge the Series 3 Apple Watch, but of course, that's not available yet. But I just thought I'd mention that before the $250 Air Power Mat charger comes out, wireless charging is not expensive. And if you want to have different wireless chargers in different parts of the house, whether it be in the kitchen, on your desk, by the bed, just because you like to drop down your iPhone and not have to fuddle around with cables, this is the most affordable way to go. And I'm not that big a fan of fast charging, so I don't mind that it doesn't charge too fast. It does charge the phone. And it's been extremely convenient having it around the office. Now, not yet, but later in the year, Apple has said they're going to send a software update out to all iPhone 8 and 10s that enable them to have fast wireless charging. But if you do want fast wireless charging, you're gonna need to buy a charger that costs a little bit more money because it needs to provide a bit more of an oomph when it comes to charging. And that's why I've been using Rav Power wireless charger. Now Rav Power did send this one to me, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I've really enjoyed using it and on Amazon it's around $50, so it's still cheaper than the chargers that Apple is selling at their stores, which are around $60. So sadly right now it doesn't have much logical use because it charges at the same speed as the $12 one. But one difference a lot of people might not realize is that the Rav Power charger comes with an actual charger brick. So if you don't have a charger brick ready for your wireless charger, the cheaper one, the $12 one, only comes with a micro USB cable and the charger pad itself. No power brick to plug into a wall. They're anticipating that you're gonna have a spare one And because I buy tech stuff all the time I have tons of charge bricks So buying this one without the power brick was no problem at all for me But if including the power brick is important to you RAV power does include one with the micro USB cable and later in the year when Apple sends out that update It will be able to fast wireless charge your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 for the three of you that will have one Or of course if you have an Android phone out there that is capable of fast wireless charging like a new Galaxy phone This is capable of doing that. so thank you RAV power for sending this to me. Really looking forward to see those faster wireless charging speeds in the future. So those kind of give you different ends of the spectrum. See, this one is definitely made of plastic. It's a cheaper material, but it's not going for premium, where this one is actually made of aluminum. You can feel the metal on the ends. It's very
very durable. The rubber on the actual wireless charging part is very firm so that your phone doesn't slide around. Whereas this, again, is just plastic. It's the most minimalistic wireless charger I think you can buy. This one has some weight to it. But they both have rubber feet on the bottom so they don't slide around and they both have an indicator light so that you know when it's charging. This one has a bit more options with the light so when you're just regularly charging something wirelessly, it will blink orange. But if you're fast wireless charging a device, it will actually blink green to let you know that it's wirelessly charging rapidly. So these are cool. They both kind of do the same thing. Whichever one you choose, whichever one you can afford is kind of meaningless right now because all iPhones wirelessly charge at the same speed. But there's something else I wanted to share with you that I find personally really, really cool. And actually, no, this is not a sponsored video. They did not send this to me, but I wanted to show you the mobile battery pack with wireless charging. And it actually has wireless charging both on the front and the back. This is made by a company called Zonv. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it does not come with a charger brick because it is a battery itself. It does come with a micro USB cable and it actually comes with an array of different ports. So it has a power button with an indicator of all the lights showing you how much battery pack you have with you. It stores 8,000 milliamp hours, which isn't that big compared to other battery packs of this size. I have a battery pack almost identical to this one in size that's around 10,000 milliamp hours, but this one does a lot more. So first of all, you can charge it via USB-C. On the side, it can charge or charge other devices via that port, which is nice. For whatever reason, they still pack micro USB on there. I guess that's the cheapest cable they can ship with this product. So that's why they include the micro USB cable, but I'm not gonna use it. Then of course, traditional USB. So if you have friends or other people around who need to charge their devices and they carry around their USB cable, you can charge their stuff. But I'm not interested in using any of those because this, wherever I take it, I can put my phone on and it will wirelessly charge. So like I have a little folder in the front of my car that opens up where you can store things. I stuff this battery pack in there and my phone rests on it and now my phone is wirelessly charging. And it's very easy to grab, there's no cables. Also one kind of neat perk I've realized with this product is I can leave it in my pocket and whenever I put my phone in my pocket, it is now charging. Something you don't have the advantage of with wired charging. If you wanna do that, you have to pull out the cable and plug it in, then put it in your pocket, then stuff the cable in there as well. No cables necessary with this, I leave it in my right pocket and then whenever I feel like it, I just drop my phone in there and it starts wirelessly charging. And my right femur bone has cancer, which is fun. And sadly, this one is not a fast wireless charger, but that's what allows it to have such an affordable price point at only $30 on Amazon. Definitely not that much money at all, but bringing Qi wireless charging wherever you go is very convenient. Not to mention, if you don't feel like buying a ton of Qi chargers for all around the house, instead just have one and then just set it down wherever you are. I can now charge here, I can now charge here, and you don't have to find the power outlet, you don't have to carry a brick and a lightning cable everywhere. Those days are over, baby. Now you can just pack this thing around, drop it wherever you are, and now wirelessly charge your phone wherever. And the surprise that I didn't think about when I got this product is that I found out the mobile battery pack itself can also be wirelessly charged from another wireless charger. So when I drop this on either one of the RAV Power or the Koei Tech cheap wireless charger, it will actually charge the battery bank itself. So even though they do include a micro USB cable with this purchase, you definitely do not need it. If you have wireless chargers, you can charge the battery bank with those and then charge the iPhone wirelessly. So that's been great for me. For a lot of people who may be struggling with the portless challenge, I think this definitely irons some things out, makes things easier. Some minor notes is that the weight balance is off-centered. Like, you can very clearly tell that the lithium battery in it is on this side, and this side is just kind of technological components, which is fine. Still really, really love it. They have it in three different colors, and I think people who use this are really starting to feel the taste of the future. One thing I wish some companies would make, which I've done some digging on, and I still can't find one, is a phone case that wirelessly charges, just like this one, both receives and charges your phone. So I could slap it on the back of my iPhone, and now it would charge my iPhone, but when I don't want to wear that case, I can pull it off and then wirelessly charge it on a Qi wireless charger. Apple, this is the next generation of smart battery case. Why can't you get on this? You wouldn't even have to occupy the lightning port. It could literally just wrap around the iPhone and charge it that way, and then when we don't need it, we can take it off, put it on a charger. See, now there's no ports necessary. Anyway, I think that'd be really cool. I hope you now see that there's a very wide selection of wireless chargers that, yes, you Android fans have had for years, but I don't see you using them. Why are there so many Android users talking about how they've had wireless charging for years, but they don't use it that often? I've never seen anyone using this, and I bet most people watching this didn't know it existed. This is super, super convenient, and I hope all of you iPhone 8 and 10 buyers can enjoy it, and even if you're an Android user, try mixing up your ecosystem a little bit and start charging your Android device wirelessly. I don't care if you have the Galaxy S8 or the Galaxy Note 8 or the Pixel 2. Oh, wait. You Pixel 2 users can enjoy this innovation. That's right. Well, at least you have fast charging. Enjoy that. Yeah, I, I'm sure that's very nice. <laughs> Sarcasm. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one. Mm.